people have seen these poles as only a guide. The surprises, they believe, are in the real pole tonight. Now to Paul Davis in Plymouth. Dr Owen should have to wait less than three hours to learn if he's held on to his Devonport constituency. Although anything other than the Lions' victory here would be a major shock indeed. Only yesterday, a local opinion poll predicting Dr Owen increasing his majority and giving the Alliance a chance of capturing Plymouth Drake. Dr Owen's result around half past midnight. Now on to Michael McMillan at Ettrick Bridge. We'll be hearing from Ettrick Bridge later. And now, as the polls are closing around the country, the result of the ITN Harris poll taken in a hundred constituencies today. The most reliable and up-to-date guide on what the voters are thinking. Now, we've kept strict security through the day because of speculation in the financial markets. The Financial Times Index fell like a stone at one point a day, down 30 points because of a report about an exit poll. We believe that report was wrong. And as we just come up, 10 seconds to go, to 10 o'clock. This is what the speculators wanted, but didn't have. This is the result. Now, there were five nominations, as they say, at 10 o'clock. Conservative, Labour, Alliance, the Nationalists in Scotland and Wales, and the others, chiefly in Northern Ireland. And the result. We forecast Conservative, 359 seats. Labour, 243, Alliance, 24, others, 24, that's 17. It also includes three Scottish National Party gains. So we are forecasting now, on the exit poll, a Conservative majority of 68. Now, if that is true, it means that Mrs Thatcher is back in Downing Street for another five years. With a majority, we say 68. That's halved since last time, but it's nearly double what she had in 1979. All right. That's an exit poll. We think it should be taken seriously, and we take it seriously. And the serious business of the real results will start in about an hour's time, with all that they will mean for the country. Now, Peter, what do you judge from that exit poll? Well, we forecast a reduction in the Conservative majority to 68, because tonight we project they will lose net around 35 seats. Here's our projection of the seats that will change hands. We forecast three Conservative gains, uh, regains at Portsmouth South and Rydale, lost to the Alliance in by-elections. Uh, again at Stockton South, Ian Rigglesworth, we're projecting, will lose his seat. But they're in a high proportion of gains in, for Labour in Scotland. We're forecasting all that on the basis of a share of the vote revealed to us by voters as they left the polling booths. And here's what they told us. They told us that 42% would vote Conservative, 33% Labour, 23% Alliance. Now, that's about the same for the Conservatives as 1983. Labour up 5%, the Alliance down 3 But why did it happen? A clue is in another finding from our exit poll. When did people decide which way to vote? 17% said it was during the last week. 21% said it was earlier in the campaign, before the campaign began. Uh, before the campaign began, 60% said before the campaign began. Now, that's a higher fig high figure higher than in the last two elections, and explains the campaign had so little effect on voting intentions. Alistair. Well, if that exit poll result is true, and it usually is, then Mrs Thatcher has got from the British electorate a third consecutive term in office. 